recognized as the hazard of when you use far too many boards. Um, I, I want to do a couple things this evening. First, I'm going to offer a solution because I believe, particularly my brothers and sisters on the left, um, the administration are in a very bad place on one issue, and I, I think there's a genuine solution coming um, maybe within the next couple of weeks. And then we're going to spend some time talking about something that's often uncomfortable around here, and that's the debt ceiling and the reality of the math and why it is a sin that we're not going to actually engage in the stressor and use that stressor, which is the debt ceiling, to make a couple steps towards reality on what the math looks like. So first off, um, and a little of this is going to come across a bit sarcastic because I mean it too, but what happened a year and a half ago, two years ago, when COVID came to our shores, came to the world, we had discussions here, often on Zoom. We were going to do the science. We were going to follow the facts and also accept that what we know today will be different tomorrow. We were going to slow down the spread. Not because we thought we could avoid the virus, but because we were worried about emergency rooms and ORs being, and, or excuse me, um, emergency rooms and others being overflow with our brothers and sisters who are sick. Here we are approaching almost two years later we have multiple vaccines, we have antibodies, and you saw the data, particularly on the Pfizer antiviral therapeutic pill. There is a pill coming, if the data is real, what we read is real, is about 89% effective. Now it's a lot of pills, you gotta take over five days. But there's a therapeutic coming that you can take at home. So we have home test kits. And if you will go back to our own rhetoric and the conversations with the scientists and the experts, it was always, we don't have a therapeutic. If it's true in about three weeks, we're going to have a protease inhibitor. That's, that's just, if you read the science on it, it's really neat how it snips the protein, keeps it from attaching into the cell. It's remarkable science. It's also going to help us on all sorts of other future viruses. But the ultimate antiviral is almost here. So if this is almost here, why isn't it time to have a simple policy discussion saying, wasn't this the standard that we were all hoping and waiting for, the technology, the belief in science that would allow us to declare the pandemic over? And by doing that, the dystopian sort of fight that's going on in our society where the Senate yesterday said no vaccine mandates where what is it now five different federal courts have said it's unconstitutional brother after brother sister after sister neighborhood after neighbor Republican versus Democrat where now we've turned it into an article of faith the left lives, lives in a ball of fear over the disease and the right lives in a frustration and anger that they believe the freedoms are being stripped away in the country how about we embrace science? The fact of the matter is, go back a year and a half ago, this was the miracle we were waiting for. It's almost here. Why wouldn't we pass a simple piece of legislation that functionally says, hey, when the FDA says that we have successful therapeutic, an antiviral, that's really effective, let's declare the pandemic over. Let's get ourselves away from this dystopian polarization that's not based in science anymore. We've turned it into a religion. I think we're better than this. And the fact matters, we've dropped a piece of legislation weeks ago that basically said that. It basically said when science is victorious, we will embrace the science, declare the pandemic over. Now, it doesn't mean the virus goes away doesn't mean some of our brothers and sisters aren't going to get sick. But the fact of the matter is the math is the math. We've had more of our brothers and sisters die this year than we did last year. And do you remember the political rhetoric? Maybe I shouldn't go there. But maybe it really is 
the moment to consider this to my brothers and sisters on the left. I'm extending you a lifeline. I'm giving you a chance to back away from a society of fear and hate to a society that says we conquered. So please, um, for anyone that's listening, for my brothers and sisters here in Congress, Mr. Speaker, yourself, give it a consideration. Has science won? And if it is, let's embrace it. Let's declare this pandemic over because it stops the cascade effect of removing troops that want to serve to the, the chaos around here of, you know, we play this fake virtue signaling game where there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of us sitting here for hours. We're wearing our little masks, but we're all sitting right next to each other talking, then pulling our masks down to have a drink of water. And the, you know, come on, it's theater. Let's get back to science.